Hello guys and welcome to Defining Post Formats by WA Courses. In this video, I'm going to show you how to define post formats for all your posts and I'm going to explore the different kinds of post formats and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to select a default post format for your WordPress website. So with the intro out the way, let's get started with the video. So I'm currently on Gothenburg and um, this is just a demo um, post. So I'm going to show you how to do this for Gothenburg first. Then I'm also going to show you how to do this for the classic editor. So on Gothenburg, once you've created your post and you want to select the post format, simply click on this settings icon here and under post, you're going to see status and visibility. Okay. So just click on status and visibility and under here, you're going to see the post format tab. Okay. So by default, um, all WordPress posts are going to be standard. But if you click on this, you're going to see other kinds of post formats. Okay. So we have quotes, we have image, we have link, we have gallery, we have aside, we have status, video, audio, and chat. Okay. So it depends on your theme. Some themes might have um, other kinds of post types like uh, carousel or something of that sort, but this is the default WordPress. Um, this is default WordPress theme. So it has just, um, I think about eight different, uh, nine different, um, post formats. So if I select link, then this post should just contain a link. Okay. So post format is just the description of the content of your post. So if the post format is link, then this should be a link post. So I, I can just add a single link here and give it a name like uh, company links or something of that sort. Then we have image. So image should just be an image. Um, quote should be a quote. Um, status, video, audio, these are all self-explanatory. So it depends on whatever you want to uh, add. Um, in most cases, you're going to find yourself using gallery, image, and standard. Okay. So these other ones are just extras depending on your use case. But in most cases, you're going to find yourself using standard because this is the default. Okay. So whatever I select here is going to affect um, depending on the theme is going to affect how it's being displayed in some themes. If you select the quote format and you type adding any text here, the way it's going to be displayed on the front end is going to be different from the way um, the content would be displayed with the standard uh, uh, post format. So you should take note of that. Each of these have their own styles and how they're being um, displayed. So uh, by default, it's always going to be standard. So I'm going to go over to the back end of my site and show you how to set a default uh, post format. So to do that, you go over to settings and under settings, you go to writing. Okay. So click on writing and you're going to get this default post format setting here. So just click here and you're going to see different ones here. So whatever you want, you want to be your default um, post format, you select it here, but by default it's at standard. So once you're done, just click on save changes and that's all. So this standard is going to be your default. So depending on the theme, um, these are always going to dis display differently, but in most cases you'll find yourself using standard. So that's about it for post formats here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this exact same process for um, the classic editor. So I'm going to go back and change the default editor to classic editor and click on save changes. So let's edit that same post and see how to do this for classic editor. For classic editor, all you have to do is um, at the right hand side, you're going to see this format tab. And it's just going to give you the same kind of um, view that you get in Gutenberg. You can select the post type, um, post format from here. So gallery image or standard. So whatever you do here, just click on update or publish and it's going to be set as the default format type. So if you, if you can't find that format tab, just click on this screen option and make sure it's checked at the top here. So that's how you add the format tab and how you add, you can select a post format using um the classic editor so i hope you guys found this video useful and i'll see you guys in the next video